people have to understand amalgams are about 50% mercury with varying agree, uh, degrees of copper, zinc, tin, silver. And this makes a paste that hardens. Uh, and uh, in the process of doing this, depending upon the level of copper you place an amalgam, you increase the hardness of that amalgam filling, the brittleness of it, its tensile strength. However, when you increase the copper, which are the modern amalgam fillings, the rate of mercury coming out is about uh, uh, you know, five-fold higher. I mean, the amount of vapor that just comes off of it. Now, we did that. We measured. Uh, we had the IOMT funded a study where nine dentists in the United States, I sent them uh, little uh, plexiglass molds that they could put in one single uh, spill filling, so we knew the surface area and the weight of all kinds of amalgam fillings, high copper, low copper, old, different manufacturers, etc. And with that, what we found is, without a doubt, the high copper fillings, the more modern ones, the ones that many of them like, uh, dramatically increased the amount of mercury that uh, was being released. Dramatically increased it. I mean, five-fold at least. 